Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Our update in the NBA. Free play and pro baskets coming up on this report for Friday, March 26, 2027. We are just uh, a day away from the Sweet 16 getting underway and a day away from our first potentially only eight-star play this entire college basketball season. It goes this weekend in the Sweet 16. And uh, listen, you go back a year ago, a season ago, not just this season, but a season ago with my top-rated plays, five stars and up. Uh, we have hit 60% of those plays. We are up over $5,300 for $100 per unit betters. That's 62 plays hitting 60%. So listen, and by the way, the eight-star plays overall on a 4-0 and run. Uh, going back several months and again our first eight star play potentially our only in college basketball this year it goes this weekend I'll tell you more about it on the Friday night Saturday free uh, report we'll also have a free play in college basketball for the Sweet 16 on video by Friday night Saturday morning so you can check that out also wanted to mention though in NBA on Friday it is the star of the show for me got a six star NBA Friday side uh, listen I like to play already because of our power ratings and the matchups uh, but once in a while we do throw and find it throw some of these uh, systems our angles into the plays I'm not a big angles guy but when it really makes sense and this one does it backs up our six star play on Friday in the NBA it's a 55 and 25 winning spot and I include it and give the analysis in my write-up on Friday so you can check that out uh, also wanted to mention a pass on Friday in the NHL a pass on Friday in soccer I'm gonna get back to NHL in just a second but as far as soccer uh, they're doing the World Cup qualifying thing and a lot of these leagues have shut down and I've yet to find anything to seek my teeth into in the World Cup qualifying. A lot of big prices. Might have a play on Saturday. I'll let you know if we do or not on the Friday night, Saturday video. I hope we do. We're up over $4,200 since February 1st in soccer. And the only thing to slow us down so far has been World Cup qualifying because we've passed the last couple of days. I do have a matchup, a match play matchup in the PGA on Friday. Had to settle for a push yesterday, uh, but I do have a play on Friday. It's a Friday afternoon play. We're up over $2,600 uh, in golf on our current run and finally on Saturday I'll have a seven unit FCS play in football three and the last two weeks up sixteen hundred dollars uh, but of course the star of the show this week is going to be college basketball with that eight star play again the six star play on Friday in the NBA is the star of the show for me on Friday told you I'd get back to the NHL because I wanted to mention that we lost the seven star in the NHL on Thursday it was the Florida Panthers red hot run hits that speed bump with that seven star play they lose three nothing total domination by the Florida Panthers but they they run into a red hot goalie in Chicago and a couple of red hot posts. Man, they had a ton of shots go off the post, but they outshot Chicago 41 21. Still managed to lose the game 3 0. Uh, it was a weird night. I didn't have anything on the St. Louis Minnesota Wild game. If you had St. Louis, bad beat. They outshot the Wild 37 to 11, yet lost the game and didn't even score a goal. And another one for you if you watch SVP and his bad beats, there's a few of them. Uh, the Memphis Tigers in the NIT last night, Lane four uh, they win 59 56 so they lose against the spread they went six of 15 at the free throw line if they go seven of 15 not even 50 percent you get a push if you lay the four with memphis just a weird night all around but uh, anyway star of the show for me on friday is going to be in the nba that six star play and also going to hopefully have some baseball videos out on friday night myself joined by doug upstone we're going to talk about some over under wins totals coming up in major league baseball let's get to the free play for friday also turning to the NBA here. We're looking at the Denver New Orleans clash. Denver laying a couple of points at the time of this recording. Uh, they just lost uh, a few days ago on Sunday 113-108 to New Orleans. 7-2 and two off a double digit loss. Last time out uh, they got whipped. They lost by uh, a bunch of points. Over 20 in that game. They're 6-1 and one straight up in the last 7 on the road after that loss. Listen, head coach Michael Maloney just came out and he said it. We had a lack of effort. It looked like guys weren't focused. They had zero energy, zero effort. Basically everything that Michael Maloney said in a nutshell even Jokic came out and said the team had a lack of focus it looked like they thought all they had to do was show up and win the game so I do expect a refocused Denver Nuggets team for this game against New Orleans especially also coming off a loss to them recently on Sunday this team hasn't lost two in a row since mid-February and they're on a 33 and 18 spread run with Michael Malone as a as their coach on the road when they're off a road loss I like him here I think Denver bounces back I think the price is quite fair uh, Denver, our free play in Friday's NBA. All right, uh, don't forget star of the show for me on Friday, six-star play in the
and the NBA. It's available on my homepage at DocSports.com. I will be right back here late Friday night, early Saturday morning with free plays in the NBA and in college basketball. If you like the videos, click on the thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Friday in the win column.